Hi! I'm so glad you're here. It's day four of our Jonah, uh, Pastor Jack? Huh. I guess Pastor Jack thinks we need a plant for our story today. I don't know. But anyway, it's day four of Jonah. So glad you're watching. I have a question for you. Have you ever said, that's not fair? I have said that before a lot. There's a lot of times when I just, it makes me really upset if I think something's not fair. You probably felt like that too. That is how Jonah was feeling as we start our story from the Bible today. Because remember, Jonah had done what God said to do. He had gone to Nineveh, he had given the message to the people that they needed to turn from the wrong things they were doing, start loving and following God. And after Jonah gave that message, he probably thought, good, okay, I did what God told me to do, I'm done, now these people will get what they deserve. But that's not what happened, is it? The people believed his message, they believed God, God saw that, he showed them mercy, he didn't destroy their city. All these men and women had received God's mercy and forgiveness. Do you think that Jonah was happy about that? Actually, no. Jonah was not happy that these people had been forgiven. He was angry. He was so angry at God. Can you show me, like, if you are really angry, how you might look? Yeah, he was so mad. He was angry at God. He thought, this is not fair fair. These people have done so many terrible things. It didn't seem fair that they would be forgiven. Jonah didn't want these people to be forgiven. He wanted them to be punished. They were his enemies. He didn't want God to show mercy to them. And he told God that. Jonah talked to God and he said, Lord, isn't this what I thought would happen when I was back in my country when you first told me this? This is why I ran away from you in the first place. Because I knew that you were a God of compassion and grace, who's slow to get angry and who's full of faithful love and who loves to show mercy. Jonah was saying, God, I knew you would forgive these people if they asked you to. That's why I didn't want to come here. Jonah was really angry at God. And you know, I can kind of understand why Jonah felt that way. I think I probably would have felt that way too. But there was one really big important thing that Jonah was forgetting. He was forgetting the mercy that God had showed to him. He had done exactly the opposite of what God told him to do. He had run from God and God had showed him so much mercy. God had rescued him in an amazing way. God had given him a second chance. He had shown him mercy and forgiveness. That was the mercy that Jonah needed to have for other people. That's what he was forgetting. And like I've been telling you all week, God has mercy for you too, like he had for Jonah and the people of Nineveh. That's the whole reason that he sent his own son, Jesus, to come to this earth, to live, to never do anything wrong. Jesus always did what was right and to die on the cross to take the punishment for the wrong things you and I have done, to show us mercy. That's what Jesus did. It says in the Bible, but God commended or showed his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus died for you and me. He was buried and he came to life again. That's the amazing way God showed us mercy. And God had shown mercy to Jonah too. And Jonah was forgetting that and didn't want to show that mercy to other people. So what did Jonah do next? Well, he decided to watch the city and see what would happen. He was outside the city, so he decided to set up a shelter. So can you with me, like, feel like you've got like this big pole or this big stick and you're putting one in the ground here and then you're putting one in the ground here and then there's one here and you're making these four corners like that. That's what Jonah did and then he probably with me, like he put up some like leaves and sticks like up over the top. So he had a little shelter because he was out in the desert and it was gonna get really hot. And he had this good view from the city where he could sit and he just sat down underneath that, sh that shelter and watched to see what would happen. I think he was still hoping that God would destroy the city. Now I told you it was the desert. 
it got really hot. And as Jonah was sitting there and the sun was just getting hotter and hotter and he was, oh, he was turning it sweaty and oh, it was so hot. Can you do those motions with me? Like you're like so sweaty and fan yourself because you're so hot. And I don't know about you, but when I get hot, I start to get grumpy. And Jonah was already grumpy and he was getting grumpier by the minute as it got hotter and hotter. And he was just miserable and sweaty and he was just so upset and so angry. And then God did something. God caused a plant to grow. Hey, that must be why Pastor Jack brought us this plant because there's a plant in our story today. God made a plant probably a lot like this grow, but it grew a lot faster than plants usually do. It just grew like right up out of the ground and it had big leaves and those leaves covered over Jonah's shelter and made shade. So can you make your hand like your hand is the plant and it's growing up and then the big leaves that spread out over the shelter and those leaves, they were just cool. They made this cool shade for Jonah. And he was like, oh, it was such a relief. He was so glad to have that plant. So Jonah stayed there all that day and he slept there that night. But in the night, God sent something else, a little worm to the plant. And the worm started to ch 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 chomp on that plant and eat it. And it ate up so much of the plant over the night that it withered and died. And when Jonah woke up the next morning, he saw his plant had died. And of course, that hot sun started to come up again and it was scorching hot again. And the Bible says that God sent a scorching hot east wind, probably blowing sand everywhere onto Jonah. And can you act like you're oh, trying to shield yourself from the sun again? And Jonah was just getting so hot and miserable again. The Bible says actually he was almost fainting. He was so hot and he thought, why would God send me this plant just to take it away from me again? He was so miserable, he said, it's just better for me to die than even live anyway. Well, then God spoke to Jonah and God said, is it right for you to be angry about the plant? Can you say that with me? Is it right for you to be angry about the plant? And Jonah answered, yes, it's right for me to be angry. Oh, he was so angry, he couldn't understand what God was trying to tell him. God sent the plant to show Jonah that he didn't want the things that God wanted. God wanted to show forgiveness. God wanted what was good for the people of Nineveh. He wanted what was best for them. He wanted them to be forgiven and have mercy. But that's not what Jonah wanted. Jonah wanted for his enemies to be punished. He was okay for him to be forgiven. Jonah was all right if he was forgiven by God, but he didn't want that forgiveness to go to any of these other people. He didn't want what God wants. And you know, if you are a believer in Jesus, you should want what God wants. And I should want what God wants if we believe in Jesus. Again, that's what our verse, our memory verse talks about today. As servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, wanting to do the things that God wants you to do, wanting what he wants. So kind of like Jonah, if you see good things happening to somebody else, are you happy for that other person? Because God wants what's best for people, but do you want what's best for people? Or does that kind of make you mad? If you see a good thing happening to somebody else, maybe because you don't like that person, maybe because you wanted that to happen to you, we should want what God wants. God wants good for people. Or maybe it's something like, there's something that you just really want to do. Like maybe you really want to be like a professional YouTuber or an influencer and you just think that would be so cool if like everybody could see my videos and that would just be the greatest thing to be famous and I just, I wanna do that so much which is great. And maybe that's exactly what God wants you to do. But have you ever asked him? It would be great to ask him, to ask God, what do you want me to do? And to want and ask him to help you to want the things that he wants, especially wanting good things for other people. But that's not what Jonah was doing. He did not want good things for the people of Nineveh. 
And that's why God sent the plant, because he wanted to help him understand. And God said to Jonah, you cared about this plant, but you didn't do any work for this plant. You didn't plant it. You didn't make it grow, but you cared about the plant. It grew for a day and it was gone in a night. But shouldn't I care about the people of Nineveh? The people in this city where there are thousands of people and where there are many animals? God was saying, Jonah, you care more about that plant that you didn't do anything for than you care about people, the people of Nineveh. God had made those people. He loved them. He cared about them. And God was willing to show mercy to them just like he had to Jonah. And Jonah should have wanted that too. He should have wanted mercy for those people. You know, God is willing to show mercy to you. That's what the Bible tells us. It says in the Bible, the Lord is not willing that any should perish, that any should be separated from him, but that all should come to repentance, that all should have mercy. And that's what he wants for you. Remember, accepting God's mercy means that you understand that you have done wrong things and that God's right about your sin, that you believe that Jesus died to take the punishment for your wrong things that you've done and that he came alive again. And it means you're ready to trust in that, to put your trust in Jesus as the one who can save you. I've been talking to you about that a lot this week. I hope you're thinking about that. If you've never put your trust in Jesus to save you, you can make that decision today, right there as you're watching this. You can talk to God about that. You can decide to believe in Jesus as your savior today. But maybe you know you have believed on the Lord Jesus as your savior. You know he's forgiven you. Then I hope you remember what we talked about, that God wants you to want what he wants. That's so important to have that heart that we want the good things for other people, just like God does. So let's pray right now as we end our story today and ask God to help us to do that. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, um, I thank you that you love us, you love people, and you want good for people. Please help us to have the same kind of heart that you do, to have that love for other people, and to want the things that you want. In Jesus' name, amen.